Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you guys are new here, my name is Brittany. That's Josh right there. Her name's Brittany. We just dropped Ronan off at my dad's house and pulled up to the restaurant. We are celebrating our nine year anniversary. It was two days ago on the 14th and today is Friday the 16th and we have a kid free weekend. I'm super excited. Are you super excited? Yeah. Yes. Um, so we are going to kick off this anniversary weekend here at a restaurant called Roy's. Is it just Roy's? I think it's just Roy's. I know it's Hawaiian infusion cuisine, but they changed changed it recently. We haven't been. Um, we actually came here for our anniversary. Probably like four? number seven. Three, two. No, no not two. It's a little later than that. Maybe five, six. Five or six years ago. Yeah. I think I think it was right after Ronan. Ronan's almost seven. So yeah, I want to say it was like five years ago that we celebrated our anniversary here and we have not been back since and kind of regret it because the food is delicious at least from what I remember it was delicious so I am excited to go have dinner and no kids and our dogs probably are already missing us at home which I did over on Instagram about a month ago ask you guys, whoever lived here in Arizona, to give me recommendations on like resorts here in Arizona, like really nice ones. Um, because I really wanted to go like stay somewhere. But um, as you guys know, we have four dogs, which the three older dogs my mom usually watches, like she comes to the house and checks up on them um, when we go places. Because they're very independent, they are independent animals, and they don't need their people. Winnie, on the other hand, uh, she needs her people. She doesn't like when we're gone, even if we just go to the store, or even if we just go out to dinner. If we come back, you could tell that she just had a hard time being home alone. So, I don't trust her for being home for more than just the day, like, while we're gone. So, um no going out and staying anywhere but we are gonna go to dinner tonight like we said and then tomorrow night we also are going to dinner um, we're going to a restaurant closer to our house that we have never been to it's not new but we've never been there but I've heard it is delicious so um we're just gonna eat a bunch of good food this weekend like that's the plan good food good times all right, we will see you when we get inside the restaurant, and I don't know if I'm going to really be filming a lot in there, but I'm definitely going to show you guys our food. <laughs> All about food, this vlog. <laughs> Dinner was amazing. Mm -hmm. We got this canoe for two appetizer, and it came with um, tuna, sushi, lobster, pot stickers short ribs what kind of egg roll things are those i don't know but they were good whatever they were some type of spring roll i don't know what was inside it um and then we got their lobster bisque and we only got one bowl but they separated it into two like smaller bowls so that we could share it because um i we, He's closing his eyes because he's reminiscing on that lobster bisque that he just ate but Oh my gosh, it is so good. Yes. Oh, it's so good. It's just creamy. There's They put croutons on them, which I love croutons in my soup after it gets kind of soggy. Mm, so good. And it's a bit spicy for me um, just because I'm a wimp when it comes to spice. So it's a bit spicy, but they put like coconut milk in it. So it has a little hint of coconut. And lobster pieces like actual lobster chunks big old chunks yes and most places don't so it's $15 just for a bowl of it but Josh was like maybe I should cancel my whole meal and just order two more bowls of lobster bisque yep. he, he didn't should have done no it. no 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 <laughs> he got the shell shellfish 
sampler. Say that five times fast. <laughs> um, he got that for dinner, which I went back and found pictures when we came here because remember we were talking about it before. And our dessert said happy fifth anniversary. So it was five years. So four years ago, we came to this same Royce and had an anniversary dinner. Um, was just as good as I remembered the last time. But the funny thing is, is Josh ordered the same exact thing. And I thought I ordered that last time, but he got the shellfish sampler ice for our kids. I can't say that. So predictable. You should get the same thing. <laughs> I didn't even know. I don't remember. See, he, I thought I got it last time, but apparently it didn't. I ended up getting a... <laughs> I can't say this straight either. I ended up getting a braised... <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say it. I ended up getting a braised beef <laughs> short rib. And the reason why we're both laughing, because... If you guys are Impractical Joker fans like we are, like I, we've seen every single episode. And you guys have heard me mention them on my channel before because I got the Scoop Ski Potatoes shirt from Sabres. Uh, but in an episode, Murr has to do, he gets, he loses. So he gets the ultimate punishment. They give him dental shots on both sides of his mouth. And then he has to go in and teach <laughs> and teach this like culinary class and he has to say braised beef but his whole mouth is numb and his lips just flap and this like spit goes everywhere so even in the restaurant i was like i can't order it because i can't say it with the straight face if you guys know what episode we're talking about what we're talking about leave a comment in 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 the comment section leave a, a laughing emoji if you guys know what we're talking about Look it up on YouTube if they have it. On yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they will. It. Just search Murr braised beef and you'll find it. I just can guarantee it. Um, so we, so I got braised beef. We had like a honey mustard coating on it, which was really good. But I, well, I got this, it's called, it was called like Roy's combo, classic combo. And so it came with a little piece of braised beef and then a little piece of butterfish, which I've never had. It was delicious. I actually liked it more than the braised beef, which I'm a steak kind of girl too, because I really love steak. But that butterfish was so good. And I was actually only going to get the braised beef, but Josh was like, no, it's $2 more. Get the combo, mix it up a little bit. So... Well, especially here, because I've heard that they, like, they fly in the fish fresh, oh, yeah. like, daily or every couple of days straight from Hawaii. So, you got to have that. Like, you can't. Yes. You can't pass up the seafood if it's fresh like that. It was delicious. And, Sally, if you're watching, I'm going to leave a picture of her right here, her channel. Sally lives in Hawaii, and... This food that she shows over on her channel looks absolutely delicious. So this is the closest thing that I'm getting to Hawaii anytime soon. And it was delicious. And then they gave us dessert on the house because it was our anniversary. And we had macadamia nut bread pudding. It was so good. The mac They had like candied macadamia nuts on the top. Vanilla ice cream or coconut? No, I don't know. It was, it was almost like a cinnamon brown sugar kind of ice cream. It was so good. It was really good. The macadamia nuts were just delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm going to include all of the video footage, um, all the yummy food pictures and video footage after this. Now that we kind of talked about it and I'm sure you guys' mouths are watering. I'm going to include video so that you guys can see. And... I think now we're just going to head home and it's 8.53 so it's almost 9 o'clock and I'm sure Winnie is freaking out. <laughs> so we are going to drive back home now. Okay, bye. <laughs>
to show you guys my outfit before I take it off. It is just this romper. But I like how if you guys hear her, she's being extremely loud. Um, it's just like a romper, but I like how it has this long overlay. I got it at the thrift store at some point. You guys probably saw it in one of my hauls, but I just got that, and then I'm wearing these earrings and choker. I don't know if chokers are in anymore, but I love them still, so I'm wearing it. It's like a, has flowers on it. My makeup's all like smudged and worn off. And then I got my hair done. I got my hair done this morning, and then I had my hair girl just curl it for me so it was all ready for dinner tonight so that's my outfit Josh already changed out of his clothes so quick like as soon as we got home so and then there's a pile of clothes on the bed that didn't fit him from Ross and I have to return all what oh Am I returning them? No. Well, I didn't try the other two buttons up, but the t-shirts are the same thing. I don't know if you guys heard that, but he's keeping the t-shirts. The buttons up, he's not sure about, but didn't he didn't try them yet. But I have to return two or three dresses to Ross. I need to tell you guys a story time, actually. Today I go to Ross, and because I needed to return, I've been trying to find a dress and an outfit to wear on these date nights because I don't really have anything. And, and the dressing rooms at Ross aren't open currently. They're closed because of COVID. So you can't try anything on, right? So you have to buy everything, come home, try it on. And I am still trying to find my size after having surgery and accept my body the way it is after having surgery. So I don't like the way anything fits on me pretty much 99% of the time. So I have to take things back to Ross. I'm terrible with receipts. I love all of the places that now do online receipts through your email. It is so much more convenient. Anyways, I lost my receipt to um, a white floral dress that I bought, which you guys probably saw in a video while well, I took it back. I didn't like it after all. So I went to return that and I didn't have my receipt. So they ask for your driver's license. Mind you, I wasn't even returning it. I was just exchanging it. I bought three more dresses today and like five shirts for Josh. So I wasn't even asking to actually return it, just exchange it. They run my driver's license number and apparently I have too many returns under my driver's license number. So I asked what the limit was and the lady's like it's three every six months. Which is all fine and dandy in a regular world, but we are in the middle of a pandemic still. 
your dressing rooms aren't open. I can't try this on. Yeah, I should probably get better about keeping my receipt, but I'm just not that cool. So I was a little irritated. So my purse is a mess currently. So I sat there for a second, dug through my purse. Lo and behold, there's the Ross receipt at the very bottom of the purse, crinkled up with another Ross receipt that I did a return. So luckily, I have my receipt. But I was a little irritated because I'm like, your dressing rooms aren't open. Sorry, these didn't fit me. I need to, I'm, like I said, I wasn't even asking to return them. I was just asking to exchange them. And then I still spent 55 extra dollars of my, after my store credit, after my return. So it wasn't that big of a deal. And they made it a pretty big deal. So I was a little irritated by that today. Um, but now I have to go back to Ross again and return two, maybe three dresses. I bought three dresses today, but two for sure I have to go back. One is like a skirt and a top, and I might keep it. I think Josh voted yes on it. Was that a yes? Yes. See, he voted yes on it. So I might keep it, um, and then I'm done trying to find outfits. Like this is something that I've had for a while. I just haven't worn it yet, but I got it at the thrift store um, for date night tonight. I don't know what I'm going to wear tomorrow, though. I don't have anything to wear for tomorrow. Uh -oh. So, I don't know. It is after 9 o'clock now. I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the night. But I'm ready to get in comfy clothes and take this makeup off very soon here because it's all smudged up. Saturday. Um, it is 1225. Um, we've just had a slow start to the morning. We are going to just grab something small for lunch. We're going to go to Cafe Rio, which you guys know I talk about it all the time. It is delicious. So we're going to grab some lunch. Um, we have dinner reservations later on today at a different restaurant, but that's not until 630. So we're going to go have some lunch and return stuff at Ross. Yay for us. We're going back to Ross, but do have to return some stuff. And I really want to find a dress for tonight because I don't really have anything to wear. So, um, we need to do that. We have to go to the pool store. We need more chlorine for our pool. And that's pretty much it until dinner time. So, just wanted to catch you guys up on our plans for today. <laughs> Just got home. Found this all chewed up on the floor. Want to see who did it? Winnie. Winnie. Did you do this?
Here's my little outfit for the day that I wore earlier. Just these Ralph Lauren sandals. This is the skirt that I got from Ross yesterday um, that came with a top. So this is the top that the skirt came with. It is like a spaghetti strap. But I need to wait for my strapless bra to come in, which it should be here tomorrow. Um, so I just paired it with this black crop top that I got from Rue 21, which is like, this is like the first time I'm actually wearing it. This outfit is totally out of my comfort zone. Like I would never wear something like this, but Josh was like, you look really good, so just wear it. So don't blame me. he said, don't blame him, but it is true. I would never wear this. Um, but I'm wearing it. I wore it out just now. We were back home. Here is the pile of everything we got from Ross. So I'm going to do a Ross haul in just a minute here. Show you guys what we got. Here is the first item I got. It's a pretty dress. I like it. It's like, I was just telling Josh, it's a little tight, like in the shoulder back area like right here but it's not like uncomfortable or anything and this part's really stretchy right here so it might be a keeper I forgot to say the last one was $14.99 and this one is $10.99 I don't like it very much it's pretty scratchy it's pretty see-through too actually there's no like slip like a lot of dresses have like a slip underneath um, like the last one that I just tried on, but this one doesn't, and it's really scratchy because all these like sequins, you could feel them through. Here is the next dress. It's a mauve color. I said that. Mauve color. I'm not saying it right. Josh, you guys can see him. They can see you in the background. Um, it's really tight, but it's like made to be that way. It does have like this stretching detail right here. And I like how it has this little kind of like diagonal cut right there, like a crisscross. It shows like every, every part of your body though, like all my stretch, like not stretch marks, but um, cellular. I feel like you could see it. Josh says he likes it. It was only $8.99. So I might just keep it just to have, but it's pretty tight, so it's not like uncomfortable tight. Like I said, it's meant to be that way, but we'll see. I was excited about this one. It's the same brand as the one I just tried on, but it's a little bit different of style. And this one has zero stretch, no stretch, and it's super short. Um, and this one's $9.99. The last one was $8.99. Same brand, like I said. And I was excited to have like a little black dress. And no, this is going back. There's no, it's not stretchy at all. Uh-uh. So I lied. This dress and the black dress were not the same brand. I thought that they were. This was Ultra Flirt. And... It's an extra large, and I typically wear a large, so I can't believe that that was so tight. This one is also an extra large, um, and then this one is a size 12. So, so far, these are keepers, and these two are going back. Here is the next one, same type of dress with... Like the cinchings on the side, it's pretty tight, but it's at least stretchy. I don't really like it, I don't think. Josh is over there saying, yes, it's a keeper. Um, it's $10.99, so, and I don't know if it's in a large or extra large because it's on me right now, but I'll tell you in a minute. But I don't know about this one. Here's the next one. Um, it's a little too tight right here, like as you guys can probably see. So it's going back. It was $14.99 and I got it in a size large. Um, the top fits fine, but right here, it's just too tight. And that last dress, the flower dress, was also a large, which I 
forgot to mention, but it was large. This is the next one. It's also a no. It's too small in the breast area and way too big in the belly leg area. Like, <laughs> this makes me look way fatter than I actually am. It's so loose and baggy. I feel like a clown with clown pants on, like right here. You know how they have like big old puffy pants? That's what I feel like. Um, it was $14.99 and I got it in a size large. But it is going back. Here is the last outfit. This is a romper. It is obviously too small. It was a large $7.99. It's it cuts off right here, so like the rest of this is all my boob. So it would not it just doesn't fit. Um, it looks really cute though, and I wish it would fit. I wish I could find a romper that would fit my body. Um, but the size of my breasts and like the rest of my body, but I just have not been able to find one. And then these pants are like fake jeans, like they're just pull-on ones. And they're size large. And they're also $7.99. I don't know about them or not yet. I have to try them on without this romper, but I think they're going to go back as well. We also got two of these baskets. This one is much larger, but it's to keep in our room for dirty towels. And it was $16.99. And then we got a smaller one to put in the laundry room for dirty kitchen towels or dirty hand towels from the guest bathroom. And the smaller one was $12.99. And then we got these two pieces of decor. Uh, I don't know if they're really candle holders or vases, but they're gonna match our home perfectly. And they were both $8.99. So we got a white one and then like a gold one. And then Josh got three shirts. This one here with a little bit of leopard print. I really like that one, so hopefully it fits. And then this one with like, um, swordfish? Is this swordfish? Little swordfishes on them. So hopefully that one fits. And then this one's just like one of those cool wick shirts um, for doing out outside work or swimming. Um, so he got one of those as well. And... All that pile is everything that's going back. I think I'm going to keep these two for sure. And then this one is a maybe still. But that is it for our Ross haul. If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. We're home now. I didn't film before we left because um, we were running a bit late. Um, so... I didn't film before we left, um, but just wanted to show you guys my outfit before I get changed. It's like 9.30. This is one of the dresses that I got from Ross, so yes, I wore it to dinner because I didn't have anything else to wear. Um, I ate too much. I'm looking extra chubby right now. I wore the same shoes that I wore last night. Because the shoes I was going to wear, I've had for a long time, and they broke while I was, like, had them on. So, this is the dress I wore. And then I wore my Mickey and Minnie necklace. That Josh got me, I think, for my birthday or Christmas a few years ago. So, I wore that because it's us. Hey. Here's Josh's outfit of the day. Look how hot he looks. He's had this shirt for six years. Mm -hmm. Something like that. He had this shirt for a very long time. And he's never worn it except one time. We got this cool hatchet thing. Cleaver. That's oh. We got this cool cleaver um, that was in our cake, which I'll show you guys every all the stuff that we got in a minute. But look how cute that is. It's actually a coupon if you bring it back. They give you a free dessert, but we wanted to keep it anyways as a souvenir. 
because we're weird like that. Actually, they did um, put rose petals on the table, and I kept some of those, too. Do you guys hear the dogs? They're going psycho in the background. I wanted to share our thoughts of dinner. This was the first time we ever been to that steakhouse before. It was really good. It was pretty pricey. Um, the funny thing is, is last night's dinner and tonight's dinner were the same dollar amount. Like, the exact same dollar amount, just like a few cents off like I think like 50 cents off and I noticed it right away Josh is like are you sure so I found the receipt from last night and showed him Turns so out it was yeah it yeah. was pretty funny that's cool anyways um for our appetizer we got this calamari it was pretty good it had baby corn in it and I actually love baby corn but I've never had it like fried before Josh tried it not my thing. Yeah. So wasn't wasn't good for him, but it was good for me. And calamari itself was good. It's yeah. Not the, I don't like the baby corns, the pickled stuff. It's not for me. The calamari was good, but definitely not the best I've had. So. Yeah, it was decent. Yeah. The sauce was pretty good. The sauce was good. It came with two different sauces, and I liked both of them. Josh only liked one of them. <laughs> Um, and then, so at this place you get to choose like an entree, but sides are big enough that they're meant to be shared. So for our sides, we got artisan mac and cheese. It was like a white mac and cheese. It wasn't like a yellow mac and cheese. I don't know what was artisan about it other than it had a few breadcrumbs on top, but it just tasted like a normal mac and cheese. They did have... The same artisan mac and cheese, but topped with lobster, but it was $32.99. No, thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh, that sounds great and all, but I don't love mac and cheese that much. I do love lobster that much, but meh. But anyway, so we got... Get a whole lobster tail in for, for that, that price. Yeah. I'd rather just have that. Skip the noodles. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. So we got the artisan mac and cheese as one side, and then we got um, mushroom and onion, like in a cast iron skillet, as another side to have with our steaks. Um, I ended up getting... I also got a Caesar salad, like a small Caesar salad. But for my entree, I ended up getting... The lamb chop fondue, which is actually an appetizer, but it came with three uh, lamb chops. They were decent size. For me, it filled me up. Like, it was the perfect amount. If you were like Josh or someone who was extremely hungry, it would not be a meal. He, The waiter even asked if I wanted to add another one, but I was like, no, three is plenty for me. But it came with this goat cheese truffle. Was it truffle? I think so. This like goat cheese truffle fondue. It was so good. And that's what really sold me on it because I just love goat cheese. What was it that you got? I got the Tuscan steak. That's what they called it. Um, it was a bone-in ribeye marinated in some kind of fancy local olive oil. Um, <laughs> The dogs are going they crazy. They are going crazy. Um, but it was top, so it had like chilies and just all this good like, marinade and, and seasoning on it. And then it was the steak itself was topped with fresh arugula and two fried eggs, um, which was interesting. So it was really good. Not my thing. I'm not like a fan of like eggs on steak or eggs on hamburgers. That's not my thing Just but i did yeah. <laughs> i did try the steak and it was really good like the definitely quality food um the best part of the whole thing was the dessert mm -hmm. they gave us complimentary dessert same with last night's restaurant which is just so nice it's so sweet um they make a butter what was it like butter a butter cake. butter cake it was huge, number one, for two of us. 
and it, not that we didn't scrape we the did plate. yeah we got, it, we got it done we did for sure it was so good like the outside edges taste like a cookie but the middle tastes like a cake it was so good and it had topped with ice cream and then it had berries and underneath the the berries like strawberries blackberries and, and um, raspberries had like little like dollops of white chocolate and regular chocolate or dark chocolate. I'm not sure. Josh thinks it's dark chocolate. But it was just so good. And then it came with this like meat cleaver thing, which we showed you guys a little bit ago. It came with that like in the cake, which was even super cute. And it's actually a coupon for a free dessert the next time you go. But we were going to keep it anyways because, like I said, we like souvenirs. But... That place was really, really good. Um, Josh says he likes Roy's better, which is where we went last night. Yeah, it's just more my type of food. Like yeah. I really love like the the Asian kind of flavors and the Hawaiian and the that you know because you can get steak there too and seafood. Not that yeah. you can get seafood at this place, but I don't know. I just I like that kind of fusion stuff a little more, but. It was good. It's good for just like a traditional steakhouse. It's really good. Yeah. But we both agreed though. The I don't know if you guys have um, the keg where you guys live. I think that's more it's of a... big a, chain. Yeah. I was going to say more of a chain. Canadian based actually. But yeah. Oh. Okay. Or around. Yes. So this place that we went to is more of a local place. Um, but the keg is where we usually eat every year for Josh's birthday. We didn't get to last year because of the pandemic. But... Every year they send him a free entree for his birthday. So usually every May we go to the keg. And for the keg being a steakhouse and cheaper than where we went tonight, it's really good still too. Yeah, it's comparable. Yeah. So, but all in all, I have enjoyed eating some really delicious food with you. Mm -hmm. It's been very nice. Um, so now it's like 9.30 or so. I don't know. I want to go play pool, I think. Can I play pool? Sure. I think I want to play pool. We have actually not have, we actually haven't played pool, um, in like a month, I feel like. It's been, it's a, been long. a long time. Yeah. So, it's overdue. So I think we're going to go do that and just hang out for the rest of the night. Now, it wouldn't be anniversary shenanigans without a little drinky drink, a little shot shot. <laughs> Nobody says that. No one says that. Just me. Drinkity drink is real. Josh calls it pinkity drinkity. I don't know if you guys have seen. I'm sure all of you guys have seen those where... These women make their men go through Starbucks drive through and ask for a pinkity drinkity. It's pretty funny if you guys haven't seen those, you should. It's funny. But we are about to do a happy anniversary shot. Happy nine year anniversary. Love you. Cheers. This is what we're drinking. In case you guys are wondering, Smirnoff pink lemonade. It's not that bad. It actually is pink too. I didn't know if it was going to be. I got it at Fry's the other day on sale for $8.99. It's not that bad. It has, it's 30% alcohol. But you guys have heard me talk about the tamarind Smirnoff, which is currently in the fridge. That's that's probably my favorite drink now. My old favorite drink was grape vodka 
in lemonade. It tastes like a sweet tart. It is so good, but I have not had that in years. Um, then for for a while, I was only drinking like Fireball, like a, as for hard liquor. I don't drink all that often. I have drank more this year since 2020 until now. COVID. COVID, yeah. I have drank. What else is there to do? <laughs> right. I have drinking more during this period of my life than since I was young, which. It still hasn't been much. I mean, no. We, um, we, we've had a drink like maybe five or six times in the year. Maybe me a little bit more, but not to not the point much. where I'm drunk. Like, I know in the last vlog, you guys saw me have a drink, but. That was it. That like was the one, it was just the one mixed drink. Yeah, maybe. just one mixed drink. Like I don't drink all that often, but when there's something to celebrate and we're celebrating our anniversary and we're kid free, I'm gonna oh, cheers to that. <laughs> now it is. It's ten twelve, and now we're going to go play pool. Hey guys, it's the next day. It's now Sunday. Sunday morning, it's 11. We slept until 9.30. Um, didn't go to bed till 3.30? Was it 3.30? Yeah. Something like that. 3.30, but it was nice to sleep in. I went and got coffee, of course. Blocking your face with my coffee. I went and got coffee. I got a cold brew with vanilla and cold foam, but the foam's all gone. This guy right here, he doesn't like coffee. He's weird. Just kidding. He really likes the Alani drinks, which I'm not really a fan of. So that's like his coffee for him. But we are going to pick up Ronan later on today. We're going to meet my dad and my stepmom and Ronan for dinner. So we're going to be eating out again. But YOLO. It was cheaper doing this than going and staying somewhere, which we originally wanted to do. So it's fine. But we're going to go meet them later for dinner. Um, for the rest of the day, I have to bathe three of the dogs. One of them, Yuki, she gets groomed because she gets brushed out professionally, which I wish I could do for Yoshi. But he has really bad anxiety just even going in the car. The last time when we moved from the old house to this house, he chewed through his leash in the car. So, um, and he gets a little snippy and I don't want him like snipping someone and being like liable for that. I don't think he would do damage cause he's so small, but anyways, um, he needs a brush out because he's losing his winter coat cause it's heating up here in Arizona. So, um, I have to do that today, and that's going to be a project. Josh is going to put up a fan, a new ceiling fan, so that's his project for the day. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But we are going to end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing our anniversary and our Ross Hall and all of our shenanigans. If you guys are new here, please subscribe to our growing YouTube family. We would love to have you guys join. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram for more daily content. We'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye. If you found the one, you should never give her up.